Masturbation, is it a sin according to the Bible? Hi, welcome to today's little lesson. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we're going to broach a very sensitive topic, um, but an important topic uh, and a controversial topic, uh, the topic of masturbation. And within uh, the greater body of Christ, there is a spectrum of opinion on the subject. And the reason that there is is because, um, as we'll soon see, uh, the Bible is actually silent on the subject, okay, a at least uh, to some degree. Uh, now, the reason that I decided to broach this subject is because our most popular little lesson video that we produced, and we've been doing this for, I guess, about a year now, is one that is titled, Will God keep forgiving me if I re keep repeating the same sin? So, you know, that, that video has received, as I'm talking right now, 41,000 views. And on average, our videos receive hundreds of views. So this one in particular, 41,000 views. Now, YouTube will actually reveal to us some of the demographics of our viewers, whatever it knows, whatever YouTube knows, it reveals. And we have learned that for the most part, the large majority of folks who have searched for and viewed that particular video are young men, you know, in the ranges of 18 to 25 or 26. And so it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what they're struggling with. Mostly young, unmarried men who are, you know, have reached the age of puberty. And uh, you know, this is widespread, and Christian young men struggle because they want to do what's pleasing to God, and they know that God has things to say about sex and their body being the temple of the Holy Spirit and so forth. And, and so a lot of them are looking for answers, and it brings them in their searches to our most popular YouTube video, if I keep committing the same sin, will God keep on forgiving me? Now, if you've seen that video, you know that, of course, I make it very plain that God's grace and mercy and forgiveness are unlimited. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know, you can't out -sin the mercy of God. Uh, of course, we have to, you know, confess and, and ask for, for his forgiveness, but he never would say no. God gives grace to the humble. And uh, I'm so glad for that. And I'm sure you are too. But uh, a lot of young men are, you know, struggling and they uh, are looking for answers and so forth. And so I'm going to spend a few of our little lessons talking about this subject of masturbation. So the, so, so the very first thing, most important question I think to ask is, what does the Bible say? And, and the plain fact of the matter, and it's almost uh, shocking, it certainly is surprising in, on one level, the Bible never mentions masturbation. You never find the word masturbation. You never find a synonym for the word masturbation. You know, it's just, the Bible's essentially silent on the actual physical act of masturbation. The reason I say that's surprising is because the Bible is so clear uh, on, on so many levels when it comes to, uh, you know, revealing God's thoughts and God's will concerning human sexuality. I mean, let's face it. I mean, God, you know, enumerates in Scripture, both Old and New Testament, uh, specific sexual sins. You know, the one I think everybody would think of first would be, of course, the sin of adultery. Well, that's one of the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt not commit adultery. What is adultery? Is it, adultery is sex, uh, you know, by two people who are one or two people who are who are married and they're having sex with someone to whom they're not married. So they're cheating on a spouse. And everyone in their conscience, of course, knows that's wrong. Uh, and every culture knows that's wrong. Um, but that's in the Bible, Old and New Testament. So God specifically says, you know, sex is something that's to be enjoyed between a husband and wife, two people who are committed to each other 
in a lifetime marriage covenant. And why is that? Because God loves us. That's why, because he knows what's best for us and he's reserved something strictly to marriage because he loves us. He knows that's good for us. Everything outside of that uh, has potentially bad consequences and always carries some bad consequences that are totally inescapable. Adulterers, you know, suffer always to some degree. God doesn't want us to suffer that way, so he gives us his commandment, right? So that's that's one of the things that God has to say about sex. F similarly to adultery would be fornication. In the same kind of category, sex between unmarried people. Again, God wants people to enjoy sex within the covenant of marriage. It's special. It's intimate. It's vulnerable. And it's something that is so special. You know, it's reserved for one special person. All right? Again, because God loves us. Well, what other sexual sins does God mention in Scripture? Oh, my goodness. Um, he mentions incest. Old and New Testament listed as wrong. Um, and in the Old Testament, many, you know, spells it out, you know, very specific who, who, who what, what constitutes an incestuous relationship. Um, prostitution, of course, a form of adultery or fornication, that's condemned in Scripture. Homosexuality, sex between two people of the same sex, is strongly condemned in the Old and New Testaments. And I know people would love to change that today, but, you know, the Bible's... This Bible's the Bible's been around for thousands of years. And so, you know, too late to change that now. And so God condemns that. Um, oh, oh, here's one you'd never think that even would have to be mentioned in the scripture. The, the, ha having a sexual relationship, a human being having a sexual relationship with an animal. I mean, who, 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 when did that ever enter anyone's mind? How could anyone be tempted in that regard? Who would ever do such a thing? But apparently there are folks that are tempted and do such things. And, and God catches them. He spells it out in the scripture. You know, whoever does this, you know, God condemns. There's actually a word for this. It's bestiality, having sex with an animal, bestiality. And I actually looked that up to make sure I'm pronouncing it right, okay? Uh, in case you ever need to use that word, which I doubt you'll ever have to use that word. So what I'm saying here is, is that all these things are condemned clearly in Scripture, but masturbation, n n never mentioned. Oh, 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 lust is mentioned. Yes, I know some viewers are thinking that, and we'll get to that in our next little lesson because we're out, all out of time for this one. But nobody can deny that the Bible is silent on the sin, if it is a sin, of masturbation. And uh, we'll get into this more deeply in our next little lesson, so I hope you join us. I know at least a few viewers are saying, oh, 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 oh no, I, I know of a case in the Old Testament where, where God killed somebody for masturbating. Oh, I'm glad you thought of that because we're going to cover that the very first thing in our next little lesson. <laughs> okay? All right, thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you next time.